When Jesus was speaking to His disciples, He told them, He says, I'm going to go to church. But the church has to be in motion. The church has to expand. The church has to grow. And the only way for the church to grow is these new souls are added to the church. My kingdom has to be built of living stones. And the only way for the church to continue to be built is if we can add supply to Jesus, which are souls. And though in that place we're going to find those bricks of the underbanks of hell. Because the devil is not going to let them go. They are not going to walk up to the devil and say, Oh, please, Mr. Lucifer, why don't you release my family member? Why don't you please give up my brother or my sister or my son? Or my... Yeah, please, you know, I want them to serve God with me. You know what he's going to do? He's going to come against him. Yeah. He's going to pour down all the temptation he has down upon your head. He's going to come at you with all the fiery darts that he can shoot at you. He's going to try to stop you. The Bible tells us that the gates of hell will not be strong enough if the church is in motion. If the church grasps the concept that souls are being lost, that there are souls that need to be saved. If you and I can come to a place and understand that it matters the way that you serve God. It matters. You have to understand that church is not just coming to church. Not all churches is right with God. And I'm not judging churches. I'm being judged by the Word of God. And standing on the Word of God, the Bible says there is one way of salvation. If you do not repent of your sin, if you don't walk away from that sin, if you don't turn your back on sin, you cannot be saved. The Bible clearly indicates that if you are not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, of your sins, you cannot be saved. Amen. It is not okay to be baptized as a baby. It is not okay to be baptized three times of motion in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is not okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, too many good Christian people do not grasp that the kingdom of God is being attacked by the enemy, infiltrating Trying to influence them to think that if my brother or my sister or my colleague or my friend, my neighbor, whoever tells me I have a church, I back off. Oh, Mr. Devil, you can have it. That's okay. They have a church. It's not okay. It's not okay. Because I have no concern for that soul if it is okay. I don't care if they burn in hell. I don't care if they rot in hell. As long as I am saved, you're going to find out that you're going to stand before the King of the Kingdom of Heaven and He's going to say, but I care. And if God cares about the salvation of souls, then we better start to care. Mm -hmm. We better start to say, God, give me a new passion for the Kingdom of God. God, give me a new passion for your purpose. Why, Lord, did you save me? Just so I can sit back and walk the pews on the Sunday. Lord, did you say to me just so I can sit back and relax? No. God saved us so that we can fall in line and start to attack the gates of hell that are holding on to the prisoners that God brings blood for to set them free. We have to come to say, I'm looking for that one person that I can pluck from the fires of hell. I want to be a part of that. Amen. We start the battle. We start the battle. 